The mock-up had to be transported to Roanoke, Virginia for load-up in an Air Force C-5B transport plane, which would carry the mock-up to its first official stop, the Paris International Air Show. After the vertical stabilizer had been removed and packed into a custom-built wooden crate, the mock-up itself was lifted onto a flatbed truck. Then, early one Saturday morning, The mock-up was on its way to the Roanoke, Virginia airport. For passing traffic, this cargo, without a tail, on landing gear, was a unique sight. Careful planning paid off as some close moments passed without a problem. At Roanoke, the combination of X-30 mock-up and the free world's largest cargo plane turned out to be an event in itself. The public was invited to inspect both the mock-up and the military airlift command's C-5B aircraft. Close cooperation between the local transport firm and the military airlift command ensured a smooth as silk load-up in the cargo plane. At the end of a busy day, the Roanoke Valley was treated to a rare sight. Just after 5 p.m., the C-5B quietly left the runway, circled the city, and departed. On its way to its home base at Dover, Delaware, and on to its eventual destination, Paris, France. The mock-up's first home in Paris was on the ground at Le Bourget Field, the site of the 89 Paris Air Show. The next challenge facing the student engineers was to prepare the mock-up for display outside the U.S. pavilion. After the vertical stabilizer was replaced, the entire surface was cleaned and minor repairs were made. The mock-up was rolled into position and lifted by crane onto its display pedestals located outside the entrance to the U.S. pavilion. After the mock-up had been lifted into place and the bolt secured, the students found themselves in high spirits over their achievement. The mock-up had been completed and delivered on time and within the budget. Finally, they could hand in this project. After the Paris Air Show, the X-30 mock-up once again boarded the C-5 and returned home to the United States to display at the Dayton International Air and Trade Show. The X-30 follows in the tradition of the X-15. Its achievements did much to extend the envelope of aerospace research. In order to bring the X-30 to reality, advanced technologies are being developed in propulsion, materials, structures, and computing. For these young engineers, the construction of the X-30 mock-up has been a chance to participate in opening a new chapter in aerospace history. <laughs>